There are many black Canadians who changed Canadian history. Rosa Parks, Martin Luther King, etc. But one name would go down in hockey history forever. That man is Willie Ory. William Ory was raised in a large family in Fredericton, New Brunswick. He was the youngest of 13 children of parents Rosebud and Harry. Ory's grandparents came to Canada from the United States through the Underground Railroad to escape slavery. Ory started playing hockey at age 3 and organized hockey at age 5. He instantly had a passion for the game. Ori played regularly on the backyard rink of the family home and skated to school when weather permitted. In the autobiography of Willie Ori, Hockey's Black Pioneer, Ori wrote that color was never an issue on those early rinks. When Ori was 14 years old, he played organized hockey with his brother Richard, who was in his 20s and taught Willie how to body check. By the time Ori was 15, he was playing for the Fredericton Falcons in New Brunswick Amateur Hockey Association. Over the next three years, Ori progressed through the Fredericton hockey system. In 1951-52, he played with the Fredericton Merchants of the York County Hockey League at three games with the Fredericton Capitals of the New Brunswick Senior Hockey League. After a season with the Junior Capitals, Ori made a step up to the senior ranks for a full season in 1953-54. While with the Fredericton Capitals, Ori played in the Allen Cup Tournament, where he scored 7 goals in 7 games. At age 19, Ori moved to Quebec and played the 1954-55 season with the Quebec Frontenacs of the Quebec Junior Hockey League. There, he went on a spell with 27 goals and 70 assists in 43 games. However, during the 1955-56 season, while he was playing for the Kitchener Canucks, tragedy struck. Ori became 95% blind in his right eye after he was hit with a puck that also broke his nose and cheekbone. But Ori did not tell anyone of his injury because the NHL law, no player with any blindness was not allowed to compete. Because of this, Ori never told anyone about his blindness for the rest of his career. Ori returned to playing hockey in Quebec after one year in Ontario and was 8th in team scoring with the Quebec Aces in the 1956-57 season. For the 1957-58 season, the Aces formed a working relationship with the NHL Boston Bruins. The relationship meant that the Aces players can be called up to the Bruins at any time. Ori was called up and he made history on January 18, 1958. When he became the first black hockey player to play a game in the National Hockey League, Ori returned to the team in the 1960-61 season and scored 4 goals and 10 assists for 14 points in 43 regular season games. On January 1st, 1961, Ori also became the first black player to score a goal in the NHL in a 3-2 win over the Canadiens. After a short time in Boston, Ori went on to play 14 more years of hockey with the Hall Ottawa Canadiens of the Eastern Professional Hockey League, the Los Angeles Blades, and the San Diego Gulls of the Western Hockey League. This New Haven Nighthawks of the American Hockey League and the San Diego Mariners of the Pacific Coast League. One major reason why Ori was able to prolong his career was because he moved from left wing to right wing in 1964 to 65. One night while playing in Virginia in the 1972 to 73 AHL season, fans tossed cotton balls and a black cow onto the ice. While playing with the Bruins in the 1960-61 season, Ori was the victim of racial taunts from a Chicago Blackhawks player. The player also butt-ended Ori with a stick and knocked out some of his teeth. Ori retaliated by breaking a stick over the player's head and a brawl broke out. According to Ori, throughout his time playing hockey, he was treated worse in the United States than in Canada. In 1998, Ori became the NHL director of youth development and ambassador for the NHL diversity program. He traveled throughout North America to promote grassroots hockey programs with a focus on serving economically disadvantaged children. In 2003, Ori was named the Lester Patrick Trophy winner for his outstanding service to hockey in the United States. In 2010, Ori received the Order of Canada for his outstanding service to youth development and promoting hockey within North America.
Ulrey also received the Order of New Brunswick 2005 and was named an honored member of the New Brunswick Sports Hall of Fame, where he was inducted in 1984. Then finally in 2018, William Ulrey was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame and became the most famous black hockey player to ever live.